A 38 year old man is back behind bars tonight after authorities say he escaped from the Richland County Jail early this morning through a hole in the fence. News 19's Walker Lawson is live outside of the jail with an update on how that escape happened and what's being done to ensure the public safety. Walker. That's right, Darcy and Andrea. Things are much quieter here now at Alvin S. Glenn Detention Center as Charles Meader is back in custody. He was found about five hours after going missing at a hotel on Bush River Road. It's approximately 18 miles from where we are here at Alvin S. Glenn Detention Center. Now, the Richland County Sheriff's Department is investigating. We reached out for an interview and they declined, but we did request a copy of the incident report. They did provide us that. It showcased a little bit more about what happened here last night and hence at a possible accomplice. It all started in the early morning hours as officials say Meader was last seen around 3 a.m. He was then not located during a later regular count of detainees. Richland County deputies responded around 3.30 a.m. when, according to the incident report, they made contact with the lieutenant who advised them that unknown subjects had cut a hole into the exterior and interior chain-linked fence. The lieutenant said he observed several packages on the ground near the interior fence that had been passed through or tossed before unknown people ran into the woods between the jail and Longwood Road. In the report, the lieutenant said he couldn't retrieve those items. RCSD adds they utilized a drone and canine units to search. Meader was ultimately found by Lexington County deputies at a hotel along Bush River Road off Interstate 26. That's about 18 miles from here at the jail. Now, he was originally arrested back in April and was being held on charges of resisting arrest, use of a vehicle without permission, grand larceny, and receiving stolen goods. He may now face additional charges for escaping. Reporting outside the Alvin S. Glenn Detention Center, I'm Walker Lawson, News 19 WLTX. All right, Walker, thank you so much. Well, it's not clear whether investigators have a suspect who they believe help him make that escape, but they say that the investigation into the entire situation is ongoing. Obviously, it will take some time. This morning's escape had residents in the area where he was eventually caught on edge. The inmate was apprehended around 8 o'clock this morning in the Knights Inn Hotel parking lot on Bush River Road. Ruby McCarson, an employee at the Molly Maid business next door, says she saw the entire scene unfold in her work parking lot. We were just standing outside having a casual conversation, and the next thing we know, Lexington County, Richland County, both ways are flying in at us, and then they're just going out, basically running towards something, and we didn't really realize what it was. And next thing you know, we just see somebody kind of walking out in handcuffs. Carson says she was nervous watching everything happen, but she's happy that he was caught before anything else could go wrong. Other businesses in that area tell us that they think the jail security needs to be taken more seriously. And there have been several stabbing incidents recently at the Richland County Jail, three in June on the 18th the 26th and the 30th. Two people were stabbed at the jail on May 11th and one inmate was stabbed on April 2nd. And in January, 29 year old Antonius Randolph was killed inside the jail. Investigators say five inmates planned and carried out the killing. The Richland County Sheriff's Department found many cell doors in the jail didn't actually lock, which they say allowed the five inmates to go in to Randolph's cell and kill him. The inmates were charged with murder and with conspiracy.